Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're looking at the trigonometric graphs that we have to know for exercise 9f. So we will have seen these trigonometric graphs at GCSC. So here are the uh, key points of the graphs here. So the key points are the peaks and the troughs and each of the points of intersections of the line. First of all, let's work on the sine graph here. So the way that uh, the trigonometric axes work is that we go up in the degrees, 0, 90, 182, 70, 360. You can obviously have the intervals in the middle, but these are the minimum expected. And sine starts at 0, peaks at 1, comes back down at 180, troughs at, one, at minus 1, and uh, comes back up to the axis at 360. And then it will start again, so it have a period of 360 here and it will also go backwards as well so those negative angles it will continue going down back up and down again the cos graph is almost identical to it apart from it's just shifted uh, left by 90 degrees so it starts up at 1 comes straight down uh, goes through 180 and then back up to 360 these are curved lines here make sure you do draw them curved if you draw them with just sharp points and that's not quite right. Now the sine and the sine of the cos graph are very closely linked here. Uh, the tan graph looks a little bit more different. Uh, so what we will see here is some like x cubed type uh, functions here that repeat every 180 in between minus 90 to 90, minus 270 to minus 90, etc. Uh, what we have here is that we have little asymptotes here um, in between our angles. So we can never actually get tan of a 90 degree angle. Um, so, so that has an asymptote here. Um, so it will go upwards, it will go very, very close towards the asymptote here at 89, 89.9, 89.99. We'll get very close to the asymptote, but it will never equal 90. Okay, so unfortunately these are just graphs that you're going to have to remember. Put them on a poster, on a revision poster or something like that, and make sure you learn them. Okay, so the period of length for the sine and the cos graph is 360, and the period of length for the tan graph is just 180 before it starts repeating itself again. Right, okay then, so there's a little question here for you to have a go at on page 194. Uh, see how far you get. Right, okay, let's have a little go at this question here. So I'm supposing that the axis are only in between uh, 0 to 360 here. Um, so first of all, uh, if cos of 30 is root 3 over 2, use our graph to find another value of cos of theta equals um, root 3 over 2. So let's draw out that sine graph. It doesn't have to be the world's most beautiful sketch you've ever drawn. Um, but a good graph will help you solve this question here. So we have intersections at 90 and 270, a trough at 180, and it starts to repeat itself at 360. Now, sine of th sorry, cos of 30 is going to be root 3 over 2. So that's when you plug 30 degrees into your cos graph, you're going to get root 3 over 2. So when else are we going to get root 3 over 2? Well, let's look across the graph and downwards here. Now we're going to have to work out what this angle here is and we'll have to use a bit of symmetry on this curve here. Now if we know that the distance from the from the uh, peak here to our um, intersection here is 30 degrees then that's going to have to mean that if we go backwards here by 30 degrees we're going to get to this um, point here where it's also root 3 over 2. So doing 360 take away 30 degrees and we're going to get 330 degrees as the answer to this question. Test it out in your calculator. If you were to do cos of 330, you should get root 3 over 2. Now there are infinitely many uh, angles that will give you root 3 over 2, both positive and negative, but it did just say here find another theta angle. And generally within a question, it will give you some boundaries for your angles as well. Right, have a go at plenty of this in questions uh, 
on exercise 9f, it is going to come in really useful when we start to solve trigonometric equations. So have lots of practice at it and you'll be okay for later on videos. Right, thanks for watching.